everyone, this is Tony Atomic. I am opening up unboxing horror pack for, you know what, I think this was for June, for last month. Um, so it came a little late and I'm a little behind because I've been, I have so much on my plate doing so much right now. Um, please forgive me. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful summer and staying sweet. And let's get into horror pack. Comes in this box wrapped like this. I feel like it's always been safe. I've never had a problem. Um, it is a four DVD or Blu-ray um, subscription for about the price of one. So it's really neat. It's about $25 a month, somewhere around there. Um, Annabelle Creation is the first one. It says, warning, do not open. Um, so I guess I won't ever open this. Just kidding. I'll totally open this. No, I know they, they mean the case where the doll is, but it looks like it says don't open the D the Blu-ray. It's a Blu-ray. Anyway, this is one of those Annabelle movies, you know. Annabelle, the scary doll. Um, And then Emily, the babysitter, is here. She looks like a scary babysitter. Um, It says the parents are out, and the young children take to their new babysitter. She seems like a dream come true, but... But, um, their interactions go more sinister and the kids realize she may not be who she claims to be. So creepy babysitter movie. Um, I want to see it. Sounds interesting. I've never seen that. Uh, Horror Pack Limited Edition, Prosper. They typically have one limited edition. I feel like almost every time you get one limited edition Blu-ray and it's usually an indie film and, um, this is an ancient darkness rumored to be the daughter of Sarah Good, the first witch who was tried and hung um, during the witch trials. Let's see. An unassuming young man comes. There's an allure reconnecting with his deceased siblings. Um, come along for the ride. Gruesome events then happen. Paraf I'm totally paraphrasing, but... Um, so yeah, all these people meet up and then someone's not who they seem to be, which I feel like is a the theme. Okay. Then there's the turning. Oh, you know what? I saw this. I'm going to say, okay, this is a version of turning the turn of the screw and it is, um, not my favorite version. Um, I mean, there's some good visuals and some good acting in here. But what I didn't care for was the whole thing, like, they play out this thing like we know. Like, the whole thing about the story and the other adaptations of the story is the creepy th thing is you don't know if it's one way or the other. And this, they play it as if we do know. Which I guess is an interesting take, but what I enjoy about the story is the, the um, ambiguity. And it kind of ruins the ambiguity for me. So if you want to see a, t a take like that, you'd probably like this. Like, like, um, hey, this is literal. This is the bad stuff is real. If you know, if you're familiar with the story, and it goes there, like it goes extreme that way. Um, so if you want to see something like this, you'd probably like this. I like the ambiguity more, so I didn't um, care for it. So oh, but there's an alternative ending. Which maybe adds the ambiguity back. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so maybe it's like Clue. There's like four different endings. But then there's one ending that's like the real ending maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's why you got to watch it. So anyway, <laughs> there's the churning. Annabelle creation. So I feel like that's like prequel goes back. and But it's an like the later movie but going into the past um M emily and prosper so that is everything in my horror pack please let me know if you want to hear more about any of these films if you get it too and what do you think of the films and if you're interested in hearing a review or anything like that it's been a long time since I've done a review. I've got to get back to that, but I've been very busy. I will talk about that in the future and let you know what's going, been going on. And um, as always, thanks for watching.